Alright, so this is the last of our videos on factorising and we're going to look here at factorising what are called trinomials. Now, what is a trinomial? A trinomial is an expression with three terms and normally what you look at is maybe having a letter term to the power of 2 followed by another letter term to the power of 1 and then finally some numerical value. Okay, so you're asked to factorise this trinomial so we're going to put it into brackets. Okay, now we're going to use a method called Wendy's way and what we need to do is we need to take the coefficient of the first term, which is 1, and multiply it by the last term. Okay, so we're going to do 1 times 20 and once we've got our 20, we then need to think of factor pairs that give us 20. So we've got 1 and 20, we've got 2 and 10, we've got 4 and 5 and I think that's us. Now we've got to think about which pair we can use to give us the middle uh, coefficient here, okay? We're looking for something to give us 9. Now this may be got by using, say, a mixture of uh, positives and negatives, or as in this case, we may take the 4 and the 5 as being both positive, okay? Now once we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this um, plus 9x. I'm going to rewrite it using the information that we've got over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it up and we're going to say that this is the same as x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20. Okay, doesn't matter what order you put these terms in, um, whether it's plus 5x plus 4x or as in this case plus 4x plus 5x. Then the next thing I would like to do is I'm going to um, factorize these first two terms and then we'll factorize the last two terms, okay? So, highest common factor for the first two terms is just x, and that gives us x plus 4 in a bracket. We then factorize the last two terms. Now, the highest common factor here is 5, and then in our brackets we get x plus 4. Now, you want to see the repeat. We've got x plus 4 and x plus 4. That tells you you're on the right track. And then all you do is you finish it off and you put whatever is repeating into one bracket, so x plus 4 repeats, so that goes into one bracket, and then whatever is left over goes into the other bracket, so x plus 5 is what goes into our other bracket, and that's us done, okay? And that is how we factorise a trinomial, okay? Let's look at another couple of examples. Let's look at w squared minus 11w plus 28. Okay, so we're going to a new page. W squared minus 11w plus 28. Okay, now again, w squared is just 1w squared. Okay, so 1 times 28 gives us 28. Think of the factor pairs of 28. We've got 1 and 28, we've got 2 and 14, um, we've got 4 and 7. And I think that's all we've got. Now, how can we get this 11w, or negative 11w, using one of these pairs? Well, we're going to use 4 and 7. Now, negative 4, take away 7, gives us negative 11w. So we'll rewrite this, and we'll say that this is just w squared minus 4w minus 7w plus 28. Now, because the signs are the same, it doesn't matter which one comes first. Now again, what we're going to do is we're just going to factorise the first two terms and then factorise the last two terms and then see how we get on from there. Okay, so we end up with w and we multiply that by w minus 4. Now, this is where it gets a wee bit tricky. Okay, now you want the repeat of w minus 4. Okay. So the coefficient that has to go here isn't plus 7, but minus 7. Negative 7 times w gives you negative 7w. Negative 7 times negative 4 gives you positive 28. Okay, so these are the trickiest kind when you end up with two negatives. Then you've just got to be careful about the coefficient that goes here. So now we're ready to just fill in our brackets and write down our answer. And we end up with... What's repeating? Going in one bracket. So w minus 4 
and the leftovers, W minus 7, goes into the other bracket. Now remember, you can always use FOIL quickly in your head and just work backwards just to check and see that you've done everything correctly. Okay? Let's have a look at another example. This time we'll look at, um, let's do 2t squared plus 4t plus 2. Okay. Now, 2 times 2 gives us 4. Okay. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, fact the pairs are 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 2 is 2. Which of these pairs will give me 4t? That is 2 and 2. Okay. So I rewrite this and I say that's the same as 2t squared plus 2t plus 2t plus 2. And then once I've done that, I'm ready to factorize the first two and factorize the last two. So if we do that, we end up with a common factor, highest common factor of 2t. That leaves me with t plus 1. And then if I take out the highest common factor here, it will just be 2, and I end up with t plus 1. The repeat tells me I'm on the right track. I finish it off by opening up a double bracket. What goes into one bracket is the repeating expression, and the leftovers, 2t plus 2, is what goes into the second bracket. And that's me finished. Okay. Now, let's look at one more example of this type. Let's look at y squared minus 5y minus 36. Okay. Now, um, remember we think of y squared as just 1y squared. So we do 1 times 36 is 36. Now, fact the pairs of 36. What are these? You have 1 times 36. You have 2 times 18, you have 3 times 12, you have 4 times 9, we have 6 times 6, and I think that's us covered everything. Now, we want to make negative 5y. What are we going to use to make negative 5y? Well, out of the choice we have here, of the 5 pairs, the only one that suits us is the 4 and the 9. Now, to make negative 5y, we need negative 9y plus 4y. Now, whenever you're faced with, a, with different signs, when you're going to rewrite it, and we're, you're going to break up the middle term, always write the negative term first, okay? That'll make life easier for you. So negative 9y, and then we have plus 4y. And that, then we've got our negative 36. So all we've done is we've replaced this with this, okay? That's all we're doing. Now that we've got four terms in our expression, we're going to factorize the first two, and then we'll factorize the last two, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, highest common factor here is going to be y, and we end up with y minus 9 in our bracket. The highest common factor here is going to be 4, and we end up with y minus 9 in our bracket. And then finishing off, open up a pair of brackets, into one bracket, pick your repeating expression, y minus 9, y minus 9, and then the leftovers, y plus 4, is what goes in to your second bracket. Okay, and that's how you factorize binomials. Okay, now one thing that you should keep your eyes peeled for, um, you may well be asked to factorize something. And the first port of call should always be to check to see if you can take out a common factor, okay? If you were asked to factorize 3a squared minus 18a plus 24, and if you just launched in to find 3 times 24 and got 72 and had to find all the factor pairs of 72, the bigger the number, the more awkward it is, so it's always in your best interests to take out your common factor from the very beginning. Now, what is common to each of these? Uh, terms. We can take out the highest common factor of 3. And that leaves us then with a squared minus 6a plus 8. Okay. Now, it's this that I can then factorize further. Because this is a trinomial, and I can just anticipate a final answer of 3 and then a double 
bracket. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep that to the side just now and we'll come back to it and we'll just do our working over here and we'll see how we get on. Now, a of a member is just 1a, so 1 times 8 is 8. Fact the pairs of 8, we've got 1 and 8, we've got 2 and 4, and that size. You want to make negative 6a, so the fact that pair you're going to choose is going to be 2 and 4. 2 would be negative 2, 4, negative 4, because negative 2a minus 4a gives you negative 6a all together. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to say, well, that would just be a squared minus 2a minus 4a plus 8. Now, you've got two negatives here, so just be careful. And we're going to then factorize the first two, factorize the last two. So to get the highest common factor of the first two would be a, and you end up with a minus 2 following. Now, you're looking to anticipate a repeat of a minus 2. So your common factor is going to be not positive 4, but negative 4, because negative 4 times a is negative 4a, negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And you then finish it off by putting into your final answer the repeating term going into one bracket, so a minus 2, and the leftovers, a minus 4, they go into the other bracket. And that's how you factorize trinomials, okay? That's how you factorize trinomials. Can we maybe do a few questions ourselves, and then I'll put up the answers in a wee while, and you can check and see how you got on. Okay, so let's see if you can do these. So y squared plus 4y plus 4, then m squared plus 7m minus 8, and then finally 2x squared minus 6x minus 20. Okay, so see how you get on with these, pause the video, and then check and see if your answers are correct. Okay, for this one, we'll just go straight to the answer, and you would just end up with y plus 2 times y plus 2. And you could, of course, write that as y plus 2 all squared. Okay? Now, for this one, your final answer oops, would be m plus 8 in one bracket and m minus 1 in the other. It wouldn't matter if you had m minus 1, then m plus 8. The order of the brackets doesn't matter because when you're multiplying, the order doesn't matter. So 2 3s are the same as 3 2s and so on. Now, let's do this last one properly and just talk you through it. So what we'll do here is we'll take out our highest common factor of 2, okay? And that would leave us with x squared minus 3x minus 10, okay? Now, I can then anticipate an answer of 2, then followed by that, uh, you follow that with a double bracket, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to isolate this just now, and we'll come back to it later. And then if we just think of what we've got here. Now, x squared is just 1x squared, so 1 times 10 is 10. Um, fact the pairs of 10, 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. I want to make negative 3x, so the only option available to me is to use the 2 and the 5. Now, I want to make negative 3x, so that would be negative 5x plus 2x. Now, I'm going to take this expression here, and I'm going to rewrite it out, and then we'll break it up, we'll break it down. x squared minus 3x minus 10. Now notice you've got a negative term and a positive term. So it's a negative term that would come first. So it's minus 5x first, then followed by po positive 2x, and then you're taking away the 10. Okay? Now we then factorize the first two terms, then factorize the last two terms, and we end up with x times x minus 5, and then here, highest common factor is 2, and again we have x minus 5 in our bracket. So now that we've reached that stage, we fill in our final answer, and we say in one bracket we have the repeating term, which is uh, repeating terms, which is x minus 5, and then in the second bracket goes the leftovers, which is x plus 2. Okay, 
so that's how you factorize trinomials using wendy's way